Multilateralism today has other different global players emerging, some of them old ones, some of them new ones, but the challenges are very similar. There are 31 United Nations agencies and funds and bodies uh, stemming from uh, what was created here 100 years ago and all imbued with this idea of impartiality and neutrality, which is the key to the functioning uh, of the International Civil Service. John describes this as the glue that holds the multilateral system together. Starting in 1919 and discussing this very, very difficult journey through history, that means also that we are focusing much more than before um, to the marginalized, those without a voice, those silenced, those marginalized by the international system. And I think this is the other les lesson the 21st century desperately needs to learn from the past. Any organization, any human endeavor is evolving and uh, that's what happened. The League ceased to exist in 1946 because it failed in its political mission. The UN at the beginning and probably could not do otherwise uh, at the beginning have any link or to be seen as having links with the, with the League of Nations. But now, as I said, the historiography has proved that there is a continuity, but still evolving. They believed in people uh, working together to solve uh, common uh, um, problems. And it's that approach to the international civil service which prevailed, thankfully, and it is the reason why we are all here now. Of course, Geneva was the birthplace of multilateralism. A uh, hundred years back with the League of Nations, um, that was giving shape to global governance and multilateralism. And Sir Eric Drummond was, so to say, the midwife, or actually the mid-husband, of multilateralism. And he phrased the fundamental principles of the international civil servant. The League started creating an ecosystem in Geneva with a lot of uh, what was not called at the time uh, NGOs, but voluntary associations, which were supporting the, the the work of, of the League, and this grew tremendously. And uh, civil society today is much more involved than it used to be uh, at the time. Just after the First World War, you had this cadre of very young civil servants in national civil services who had been exposed to enormous responsibilities in the war. And Drummond brought these people together. It was a moment that the didn't even exist after the Second World War, which was a far bigger thing. So, so it was a, a point in time where the right people were at the right place for the right thing. The role of an individual, especially in a leadership position in global governance institutions, is often contested. And as I would say, it's underestimated. And Dark Hammarskjöld is a very prominent, maybe the most prominent, example for that. Like no one else, he shaped the international civil service being guided by loyalty to the United Nations Charter, by integrity and honesty. This is where the United Nations Secretariat and the role of the Secretary General comes into the picture because that role is one to walk a thin line between the multiple colliding interests of the most influential member states. And a secretariat is supposed to be there for each and every member state. We are ready to discuss also the failures, also the tensions, also the dangerous part of multilateralism. And therefore, from this history, we can analyze much more in a, in a more um, precise way what the consequences is of an international system um, which starts to lose the multilateral balances that ends in global wars and in a increasing number of conflicts. The international civil service, for all of its faults, and we're not in any way claiming it is a perfect institution, far from perfect, is nevertheless an independent, neutral, impartial body 
of competent um, officials, men and women, um, who can serve the common interest in a, an in, 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 with, with integrity and with non-partisanship is absolutely essential at any point in time in helping the nations of the world solve their individual or their, their common uh, problems.